First ski trip. Let's go. to get our ski rentals. Not too bad of a line. Uh, first day back on the mountain in over 20 years. First time back on the skis in over 20 years. And was able to pick it right back up. So we decided to grab some lunch. Thankfully, the slope side pub and grill was open. Got to tell you, a lot of options on this menu. Everything was great. The food was great. We went with the chicken euro and fries. Lara got a burger. And the food was amazing. It stuck to water because we wanted to get back on the slopes real quick. Lara did pretty good. Um, she was still trying to get her stance down and everything and get her coordination with her hips and her feet. Um, had some time, uh, you know, on her backside, but uh, other than that, she did really good. She was fine. One, here we go. I'm gonna hit this black diamond by myself. 
myself. Pick up a little speed, and then uh, that'll be it for the night. So we took a wrong turn here. So we are actually, we are gonna end up doing a double black diamond. It's called, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's called Nightmare. We'll see how well we are. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Just for clarification, even though I did go down this double black diamond, I did not hit any of the jumps. So one could make the argument that I didn't actually do the double black diamond. However, it was late at night and my first time being back on the mountain, I wasn't confident enough to be able to hit those jumps. So I just bypassed them. But otherwise, the trail was slick, it was fast, corners were tight, and it was something to definitely practice on in the future. <laughs> So we did a nightmare in the double black diamond by accident, but we got through it. So we're gonna go all the way down here. And I think we're gonna do Tuts Lane or, no, we're gonna do the mile, which is all the way down, long shot. Let's go. Back on the mountain, especially up at Blue. Definitely be back again. 